Charlemagne's got Drake all up in his feelings. The boy responded to some criticism that Charlemagne gave Drake on a recent episode of the Brilliant It Is podcast. And what Charlemagne said, what scares me, and it's not even a scare because Drake's gonna be fine, but Drake put out a song last Friday and nobody cared. The record that Drake put out is with SZA called Slime You Out. That's what Charlemagne's referencing. Well, Drake ain't like the criticism. The boy responded on his Insta story. Are you okay, Lenard? You kind of weirded me out, G. Like you really obsessed with me or something. It's been like that way for years now. It's like you look in the mirror and wish you saw my reflection type ish. Whatever you got to do, let it out. I'm sure your 435 loyal fans will stand by you, you effing goof. Drake said Charlemagne look like an off brand Morris Chestnut. That is hilarious, by the way. In response to the hate, Charlemagne on the Breakfast Club kind of played it off and said, yo, him and Drake, they plan to do this as a rollout every time Drake's about to drop a project. For all the dogs is on the way in a couple of weeks time here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yes, Charlemagne is for sure a known long time Drake hater, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think this is more truth than hate. I listened to that Slime You Out record as I was on the road, ready to vibe out to the first single off a new Drake album. Y'all know I love the boy, but this one wasn't it. And I'll be honest with you, it's different for me for this record to not be it because it ain't like the music isn't good. The production isn't good. SZA killed it. The only thing that I don't like is Drake. On a Drake single, you never hear me say, I don't like Drake on a Drake single. The dude pretty much always gets it right. He's one of the best a rs I've ever seen. That first verse on Slime You Out from Drake is just simply not it. I feel like one of the greatest rappers of all time, the boy, is trying to do two things at the same time. You cannot be Take Care Drake and Her Lost Drake on the same record. You can't be vulnerable with the women and flex on them in the same connotation. I love both of those Drakes, but I need them separate. I don't need them on the same single. Drake kicks the record off pretty much saying, I don't know. I feel like you women don't need love. Y'all need somebody to micromanage him. I'm good with that. But then Drake stars the record off and said, you bitches really get carried away. You can't do that on the same record. Not even Drake could get that off. You got to pick a side. You can't be cool, flex on the chicks, Drake, and vulnerable. I want to sing to you, Drake, on the same record, especially with SZA coming on the record right after you. And she was popping her ish. She was letting these dudes know. Y'all should be thankful to be in the same room as me, to breathe the same air as me. I ain't feel like Drake gave it on his, his first verse, bro. Second verse from Drake, cool. I really wasn't feeling the first verse, bro. And I think that's what ruined this record. By the way, I'm saying all that, and the record's probably going to debut at number one because Drake and SZA, they still Drake and SZA. And people have been anticipating a record from them for a very long time now. Apparently, they used to date back in the day or whatever the case may be. I just don't love the record. Matter of fact, if I was a DJ and I was spinning that bad boy, I'm literally starting it with a chorus from Drake and I'm going right into SZA verse and I'm getting right on out of there. That's what I'm doing. SZA did a thing on that record. Like I said, Charlemagne is a known Drake hater. I don't think this one though was, was, was more hate than critique. And I feel like if I'm being honest with you, I hadn't really heard Drake respond to somebody critiquing his music in a very long time. And oftentimes, call a spade a spade. In your comment section, when you post a picture on the gram, it could be 25 people showing you love. But the one person that show you some hate, when you kind of know that wasn't your best picture, when you know the angles went off, when you know you had just ate a burger before you took the picture, you know what I mean? Like, when you know the picture ain't, you, you did something wrong in the picture, you did something wrong with what you posted, you, you know it ain't a hundred and you kind of got some insecurities about it. I feel like Drake is kind of showing the insecurities that he's got about this lead single by even responding to Charlamagne. That's my feeling. That's what I believe. Still love Drake. Can't wait to hear for all the dogs. I think it's going to be probably a consistent good body of work from Drake, but that lead single, it wasn't it for me, bruh. Time, love, and support. Let me know your thoughts on Drake's lead single, Slime You Out. Charlemagne say he ain't like it, and Drake say he ain't like Charlemagne's face. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs?
when I believe I can build my own. You've already done it, or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So, please don't go. Make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories, I talk music, I cover sports, I am culture, I am Pharaoh.